my friends, welcome back to my channel. Jesus Takes Hollywood reads the cover of Newsweek and the feature article titled Sound of Freedom reveals rising power of Jesus in Hollywood. It's written by Paul Bond. Five takeaways from this article written on July the 26th. I'll link the article in the description box below. Please take a look at it, read it, and then come back to the comment section after you've read it and let me know your thoughts. My number one takeaway was being overjoyed to find Jesus front and center in a mainstream magazine. I was, of course, surprised and wanted to find out where does Newsweek fall according to all sides media bias rating? Newsweek actually has a reading of center. The rating of center is because they do not show much predictable media bias and display a balance of articles that show neither left and right biases or equally balanced left and right perspectives. Number two, the article states that Jesus is a hot commodity these days in the entertainment industry. Okay, I don't like the way this is worded, but we're talking Hollywood here. So the reality is if there is a profit to be made, the studios are all in. It talks about the fact that MGM, 20th Century Fox, and Sony Pictures have launched their own faith-based studios. Martin Scorsese is planning a new film about Jesus, and so is director Terrence Malick. Netflix has also said that they are working on bringing more faith-based content to its platform as well. Number three, the article points out that there has been a dramatic increase in films that portray the faith and its followers sympathetically. According to Movie Guide, the total percentage of movies with positive Christian redemptive content has soared from 10% in 1991 to 59% in 2022. Chris Detweil, the president of the Wedgwood Circle, a nonprofit that has raised $1 million for faith-based movies like I Can Only Imagine, Silence, and The Last Days in the Desert, said, There's a deep hunger for spiritually significant stories rooted in eternal questions of life and death and life after death. The pandemic reminded us of our mortality, and Jesus isn't trademarked, so the material can be held up by all types of entertainers. Number four, unexpected hits like The Chosen, a crowd-funded television series about Jesus' ministry and his disciples, garnered more than 110 million viewers worldwide. Dallas Jenkins, the creator and director of The Chosen, responded to the overwhelming approval of his series by saying, the connections to the characters are strong, emotional and visceral. On some level, they think I have an extra pull with God, but I don't. But I'm always happy to pray with them. When you strip God out of the culture, there's always a movement to bring him back. In the past 30 years, God's been pushed from schools, government, and public forums. The chosen is a response. Jenkins goes on to say, the times we're living in are similar to 2,000 years ago. There was oppression. Followers of Jesus were divided. There were groups fighting for control. And people were struggling spiritually and emotionally. Jesus said he wasn't there to start a war or win a battle, but to change hearts. Number five, the hunger for Jesus also goes beyond the screen. Purchase of religion-themed books are also on the rise, with unit sales of $20.1 million for the first six months of the year. That's up 23% over the same period in 2020. There's also roughly 1,700 billboards across the nation, courtesy of Christian Aid Ministries, with texts like Discover Why Jesus Created You and Forgive Like Jesus. As I reported on in a video in June when the LA Dodgers invited a drag anti-Catholic hate group to receive an award, the Dodgers announced a Christian faith and family day on July 30th to try to appease those of us that were deeply offended. I have to admit, I don't like the idea of Jesus being a hot commodity in the entertainment industry, but as one A-list producer was quoted saying, he makes two kinds of movies. Christian movies that make his wife and parents happy 
and movies to make money and be a member of the club, which requires stooping. I like this quote best. Jesus has always been in the public domain. It's the intellectual property that God has shared with the world. So I don't know about you, but I'm thrilled with the success of so many great faith-based movies. I think we're going to have the potential of seeing amazing artistic works in movies, television, books, and even video games. I invite you to read the Newsweek article and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to like and share this video, and until next time, peace and love.